This is a presentation of Fox Sports Sun, IMG, and Gator Vision. Good afternoon. I thank you folks for coming. We appreciate it. You coming on short notice today. Um, I'm going to make a few opening comments here and then turn this over to Linda Teeler. But uh, obviously we, we brought you here today and announced that uh, the new addition to our sports program is going to be women's lacrosse. As we looked around the country, um, what we saw and what we thought was going to happen was it's one of the fastest growing sports in America. Um, it was a sport, obviously, that the NCAA sponsored a championship in. That's important to us. And it was natural because it was also growing very, very quickly in the state of Florida as well. We didn't know anything about what was out there. One reason we honed in on Mandy was she was interested in the job. You know, she applied. You know, you look at her resume. Obviously, had done some tremendous things at, at Yale. She represented everything we wanted for the sport. She was a national champion, she had a Hall of Fame, uh, an unbelievable track record. Um, plus, she was very, very interested in um, helping us get this thing started. So her passion for helping us get started, her passion for wanting this job, very, very clear during the interview process. It was exciting, I mean, to come into a new program um, and be able to build it from scratch and put kind of my stamp on it. Uh, it's something that, you know, is, is exciting as a coach. Uh, and so I think when, you know, they first called me and said, you got the job, I mean, I was so excited. Um, couldn't wait to get down here, couldn't wait to get started. It takes a lot of effort to get a program started. It's not just, um, just don't start all of a sudden and go play. Um, so what Manny did come in here is she built it obviously from scratch, but it allowed her to, to lay a foundation recruiting wise, allow her a foundation um, staff wise. She helped us design a facility. You know, obviously we didn't know a lot about lacrosse facilities. Bringing in that first recruiting class was a challenge um, because we didn't have anything here. There was no facilities. There was nothing to show these recruits. I mean, it was just really kind of a dream and we built upon that dream. We met with a number of different recruits and their parents and said, you got to trust us. You got to look around this program and see what we do in, you know, women's tennis. You know what we've done in soccer. We, you know, we started a soccer program, and four years later, we are national champions. It's a statement of commitment. You know, we're going to start a sport. We're going to have a great facility. We're going to be committed. And we're going to be as good as we can be as quickly as we can be. And that first group bought into those promises, and obviously, you know, we delivered on on all of those promises. I think the reflection on the strength of the University of Florida, the reflection on the strength of Mandy O'Leary is that without ever having played a game, without having a facility completed, uh, she had the number one recruiting class in the country. Um, that recruiting class you know, laid the foundation for you know, a very special program. Three years ago, the University of Florida announced it was adding a lacrosse program. Tonight, that pledge becomes a reality with the first Gator lacrosse game ever. We're putting 12 freshmen on the field, um, not knowing how they're going to react to, you know, the college game. We had a very successful first season. I thought they came out and they competed like upperclassmen. So that was kind of a, a fun thing to see from start to finish, from our first game to our last game, um, where, how far we had really come. And, and I think it was a lot of, a lot of hard work. Florida's program actually started my freshman year of college. It was kind of cool because there was a lot of talk about it. Everyone knew from the outside, they just didn't know how the pieces were going to be put together. Um, and I think that even just that fall, usually you don't really know how a team's chemistry comes along, but they kind of came out and were ready to go. So that was really cool to see. We put a, a great team on the field. They certainly made a mark um, for themselves and, and set a high standard for what the tradition of Florida lacrosse was going to be. They got better every year going along and mid to the final four, their third year as a program, and that's huge. I mean, that means a lot. Mandy's doing it the right way. The final four appearance in 2012 was just a culmination of all of their hard work that they had put in two years prior, as well as throughout that season. They were really, really focused on getting to the next level, and, and they certainly attained that goal. It's the University of Florida, it's the commitment, it's the academics, it's the weather, but it's also a tremendous coach. I'm impressed with Mandy with the way she expects the best out of all of us every day. She doesn't accept mediocrity. She always pushes us to be our best. 
She knows what it takes. She's done so much, not only in her playing career, but also her coaching career. And it's very easy to respect her as a person because when she says something, it's like, okay, she's been there and she's done it. And I think that's really good for us as coaches because we can really look up to her from a career aspect and then also for the players on the team. Mandy's a great coach. That's one of the reasons why I wanted to come here. I like the way she coaches. I like her style of coaching, but she has a good tendency of finding players of what they're really good at. You know, a lot of people come here and they're midfielders, but then she turns them into defenders or straight attackers because she finds that that's what they're really good at. So I think that has a lot to do with our team's success. Having Mandy as a coach has been awesome. She really knows how to grow the program. I mean, she's been here from the beginning and she's made an, an impact so much on lacrosse in Florida. She has grown this sport in six years and we've won so many conference championships, so it's just amazing to be able to play underneath her. I on the Gators, presented by Wells Fargo, is brought to you by Pepsi, the official soft drink of the Florida Gators. By Verizon, official wireless provider of the Florida Gators. By Gatorade, fueling today, fueling the future. Eye on the Gators is presented by Wells Fargo. Together, we'll go far. So adjacent, first of all, you need to either decide, are you gonna go set a pick? Are you gonna screen down? Are you gonna go through so that we can open up that lane? But the person with the ball, you have to see the space. Nice, Maddie. Good job. Who's up next? Be ready. We've been doing these a little bit. Let's start to make sense of it. Here we go. I've been blessed to have really great assistance throughout my entire career. So it was really important for us to go out and try to find someone who had the experience and Christy certainly had success behind the programs that, that she's been a part of and, and not only from her playing days but throughout her coaching career. The fact that she plays on the Canadian national team and has played on that team for many, many years, um, that experience alone you know, you can't replicate. Everyone thinks of Florida lacrosse, this program that in the first four years went to the NCAA Final Four, um, competing in the top 10. Um, that's always, you know, where I want to be as a coach. So it's been awesome to be a part of it now and seeing and growing from Mandy and learning her coaching style and what it takes to be successful at the top, you know, five program in the country. The first thing I noticed about Mandy is her competitiveness and drive to win a national championship. And for me, that was the first part of you know, my experience, that's where I want to be. I want to win a national championship. And then two, I think, you know, just that family aspect um, and tradition of family first and, and then the rest, you know, will fall into place. But those two things, I really think I've learned a lot from her. Use your space! One of you guys has to cut, one of you guys has to hold, but right now you guys are both cutting in the middle and you're taking away any advantage we have, okay? Keep your stick in front of you protected, here we go! You guys, Lindsay, that's what we're talking about, though. That ball's there. Pick it up. Let's go. Christy has a great offensive mind. Uh, she just understands um, what's necessary on regard in regards to the offensive end of the field, um, how to exploit defenses, and just watching her um, interact with our players is, is incredible because she has a real, not only mind for the game, but she can break things down um, for our players so that it's very, very easy for them to understand what her expectations are. I think it's hard coming in and taking over the attack. It's a whole new system they're learning, but they've done an awesome job of trusting my coaching decisions and going with it, and it's been fun so far. Guys, defensively, what's the issue here? We're not getting back in. Right, twice, both ways. They've scored right away off the draw. We gotta stop ball. Annie, way to see that. Watch your back. Good, Ange. Pick a side. I think it's hard, especially when two new assistants come in. Nobody really likes change all that much. But I think that they were a very welcoming group of people, and Mandy does a really good job of creating that family atmosphere. So they really welcomed us into the family right away. Mandy's an awesome mentor for both um, me and Christy coming in this to be our first year. She's very motivating, not only for the players, but for us. I mean, Every day we want to get up and we want to go to work and we want to do something to get better for not only ourselves but for the team and the program. 
Becca's ability as a lacrosse player is, is tremendous. I mean, what she plays, she plays with a lot of determination, a lot of grit. Um, she's probably the fastest player on the U.S. team, um, but she brings all of that onto, you know, our practice field as well. And so when we need to do 1v1s, when we need to execute other teams' defenses, um, she's going to be out there with her cleats on, with her stick in hand. Good recovery, Kat. Keep her out, keep her out. 100, so 100%, 100% of the time, whether that's mental or physical, or you're out on the bench cheering for everyone else, right? We gotta get this 100 win for me. Okay, here we go. She brought a high pressure defense to our team and that's something that we, we hadn't done in the past, uh, you know, and she she's a big proponent of it and it's paid off in dividends when we're out there playing against UNC and, you know, we're out there pressuring the ball, we're getting caused turnovers, so her philosophy has certainly brought a lot to this team. I like a fast pace, high energetic, great turnovers. Um, dictate kind of style of defense and just all over the field and I think that I came in through some different things at them and they were able to adjust because they are so athletic and um, willing to work. They bought in right away because she was able to, you know, show them and the, the benefits. Um, so she's out there, you know, pressuring our attackers and taking the ball away. Um, and I think they just learned it by example and they bought in right away and, and have been 100% in. This segment has been brought to you by Wells Fargo. Together, we'll go far. Hi guys, I'm Alex Lopez from Long Island, New York. And I'm Paige Aldave from Baltimore, Maryland. We're freshmen here at the University of Florida and right now we're standing on our game field. Behind us is our practice field, and this is where we get her done. Let me tell you something, it is freezing out here. It is cold, we are in sweaters. Just joking, it's about 90, and this is why we love it here. Now let's go check out our facility. We are now sitting in the beautiful stands of the Donald R. Disney Stadium, otherwise known as the Diz. This is where the best fans in the nation sit. This is where all the rowdy reptiles come to cheer us on for our games, and they help us get those victories. There's not a bad seat in the house. And you know, after we score, every time, it's always T-shirt time. Woo! Now that we've seen the stadium, let's go check out the inside. So here's our very own Gator training room. We have everything from taping to stim to boots to the cold tank, even some Gatorade in the fridge. As you can see, we got a teammate booting before practice. We got the best trainer right here in the nation for us, Jessica, Jessica Matier. Always taking care of us. So here is one of our keys to recovery, our cold tank. Right now is about 55 degrees, which actually isn't too bad. Hey guys, so welcome to our equipment room. This is where our game day unis and shooting shirts are held. This is where we come to get our laundry and an update on our gear. Now we're gonna stop in and say hi to our coaches. What's up guys? Hey. What's up coach? What you guys doing? This is where the magic happens, the brains behind the operation. The ones that get us prepared each day to work better and harder. So now we're in our visitor's locker room. This is where we host our opponents when they come to visit the swamp. Sometimes we watch film in here as a team. And if you're not a gator, remember, you're a gator bait. Now let's go check out the best locker room in the nation. So now we are in the locker room where we are always having fun. The music, music is always blasting. Playing ping pong. One usually. of my favorite places to be before practice or a game. Okay, so this is our favorite place in the facility, our snack room. This is, you could always find me in here, always getting something to eat. We have the best food, best nutritionists here at the University of Florida. They always prepare us with the best meals for before games and recovery for after. Anything you want, you can put on the board here. They will get us for us as long as it's a little healthy, not too fattening, but basically anything you want, we put on the board and it's in here the next day for us to uh, eat and 
enjoy. And enjoy. And another really cool thing we have here is a shoe dryer, because our shoes are always getting soaked, but we got the hookup and we got a shoe dryer that we put our shoes on and it dries everything out and we're good to go the next day for practice. So it's pretty neat that we have this thing. Here we have the best gear. Our equipment managers always set us up right. As you can see, we have these heavy parkers for New the York. extremely cold weather that we face in Florida. It's <laughs> always cold here, so we always gotta have our parkers ready. We got shoes for every type of field. Any color pennies you want, goggles, customized mouthpieces. So here's our sticks. They do a really good job of providing us of the gear we need here to be successful. We got the best sticks, any color, any taping you want, any stringing you want, they provide. So here's our hydration recommendations. As you know, here it's very hot and we always have to stay hydrated. And Florida is known for our Gatorade. It is the home of the Gatorade. Everything on the board emphasizes the team culture we have or want to have. We have big goals listed here. Obviously our main goal is to win a Natty Championship. That's what we want to accomplish here. Just a few things that we try, you know, to put up and motivate each other and to be good teammates and it's a Gator brand, so this is what we live by here. So a tradition here before every home game is to rub the Gator head before you head out. So it's a good luck. Thanks for checking out our facility and we hope to see you at the Diz soon. You guys don't have to go home, but you can't stay here. <laughs> this segment has been brought to you by Gatorade, fueling today, fueling the future. I Am The Gators, presented by Wells Fargo, is brought to you by Pepsi, the official soft drink of the Florida Gators, by Verizon, official wireless provider of the Florida Gators, by Gatorade, fueling today, fueling the future. Next goal wins, restart Burgess, Stevens game over. When you're going into anybody's home and beating them, especially higher ranked teams with tremendous tradition like North Carolina and Syracuse, it, it does say a lot about where the program's at, you know? In the last couple of years, we've gone to Northwestern, which is one of the outstanding programs in the country and have beaten them at their place for conference championships, right? So again, those are the people you're trying to emulate, you know, credit to them. They've built programs, they have great coaches, they have great athletes, they've got trophies. They are who we want to be. And so go, go head to head with them and be successful against them, it is a great benchmark of where we're headed. You want to be one of those programs. I mean, you know, whether it's Syracuse or North Carolina or Northwestern or Maryland, you want them to say four to two. Um, that doesn't happen overnight. You know, those other programs have been around longer. They're maybe a little more established. But again, you know, our name is being mentioned with them because of what we've created here, what we've built, and again, the job Mandy has done. It symbolizes now that we have grown so much over the years and that we are now not just starting or starting off, we're now just that top tier program. I did think there's an expectation now of success here. Uh, we're recruiting you know, the best of the best every single week, every single month, every single year. So uh, there's no real you know, drop off in whom we're recruiting. We're going after the best of the best and we've been lucky enough to, to get those players to come here year in and year out. So that's I think why you're not seeing any kind of drop off, that we're still attaining the success that we've had in the past and hopefully will attain in the future. Being a Florida Gator has been everything and more. I mean, just from the facilities to my team to just playing for the, my coaches, I think it's exceeded all of my expectations. When I was getting recruited here, it was just the beginning. Um, there's the originals were here, and it was all about just building and growing the program. And at the beginning of stages, it was just that we were going to be this amazing team, and we, we had such expectations in the future. And now being able to be a part of the future is just amazing. This is the best of all worlds, you know, academically, athletically. Um, the opportunities that are afforded our student athletes are second to none. Uh, and I think that one of the things that I'm really proud of is the fact that they do really well in the classroom. Um, and they're really successful on the lacrosse field, so you can't really ask for much more for this for this group. I think at Florida, you know, there's such a tradition of excellence, and that's 
you know, where this program has, the foundation has started from and that's where we're trying to get to. We're going to win a national championship here and it's just, you know, whether it's this year or next year, um, we're going to do it. Our goal is always to win championships. We've won in the ALC and the Big East, but our main goal is to win a national championship. That's why we're all here. Our work is never done. You know, I think you can, you know, be really proud of the accomplishments that this program has made. Um, I think if you ask around the country, they know, you know, now what Florida lacrosse is all about. Um, and I think we have a really successful tradition um, that we've started. But there's always work to be done. You can't settle for what we've accomplished because there's a lot more things to, to be accomplished in the future. What's going to take us to that next level is having the full team involved and every single person knowing their role and being, you know, okay with it and supporting each other. Manny O'Leary's made this program relevant, you know. We, we'll bang on the door and we'll bang on the door and one day we'll knock that door down and win a national championship, but you can't bang on it unless you have great athletes, great program, great coaching, great commitment. And so I, th I see where that's headed, you know. I, I like to say we're going to win a national championship tomorrow. I would like to do that. I want anything for the University of Florida and for Mandy and her athletes because that's a hard day work. I don't know whether that'll happen or not. What I do know is that this program will continue to be in the hunt. And if you continue to be in the hunt, good things are going to happen for you. This is a presentation of Fox Sports Sun, IMG, and Gator Vision.